So Food Review Friday finds me in Fountain Valley, California at an interesting little place that takes a little twist on traditional Filipino baked goods and has something more modern. And this is Padaria Bakehouse. One of the things I like about Pateria Bakehouse is not only does it serve Filipino stuff, but it also kind of, I don't want to say improves them, but modifies them a little bit so we get some really innovative tastes. One of their specialty here is the ensaimada, normally a brioche bun. It's, they make it a little heavier here. It's actually quite good, so let's check it out. So inside is a super modern bakery setup. Tons of clean equipment, super good stuff, and here's their display case. They serve coffee here, but they've also got their cookies, which are nice, thick, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. You know, all the six different varieties. Portuguese egg tarts, which are amazing, the banana puddings, and then malasadas. These you don't see very often. These are Hawaiian, you know, fried, you know, filled donut type things. We've got tons of different flavors, and we're going to check it out. And then... Here's their uh, seasonal feature for now, ube cheesecake. But this, this is their mainstay. This is their ensaimadas. They've got them plain and with cheese. Cheese is a little extra, but it's super good stuff. I've had it before. I, for one, am pretty excited to try this. I can't wait to share this with you and tell you about it. Cheers. Got my order, including a little something for somebody later as a special gift. Look at this packaging. Nice, clean, modern. And here we go. Bam! Look at that. White aged cheddar, brioche cream. This is gonna be so good. Let me reach in there real quick. These are huge. These are tremendously huge. Look at that. Hang on a second here. Look at that. Mm. Dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So good, I gotta take another bite. Mm. Super good. Heat these up for extra flavor, but I couldn't wait. These are so good. They're so bad for you, but they're so good. It's a nice, the sharp, little bit of salt on the cheese with the cream and the tremendous bread. Super good. I'm gonna dig into this and I'll let you guys tell you guys more about Pateria. Cheers. Hey guys, so let's talk about Pateria Bakery. First and foremost, it's so good. I, I, I've said it many times. It's just a nice, well crafted pastry. And like I said, it's very different from the traditional Filipino ensaimada, which is a bit of a brioche. The malasada is definitely the more traditional of the two things. Um, the flavors are great. The different fillings. We only had, um, we didn't try the malasadas this time, but the ensaimada, the bread is sweet without being cloying. The sweet cream, on the other hand, very, very much is sweet. So you do have to moderate that a little if you want. Um, it's a nice balance with the not too sweet bread. And then, of course, the white cheddar cheese is a nice touch, but it's not for everybody because it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of that tang little bit of that sharpness so either way you know keep to your preference it's not life-changing it's not mind-blowing in terms of the difference that it makes it's all preference the prices are good it's about three to four bucks and the seasonal items are six which isn't bad at all in the end though you do want to get here early or place the order online because they do run out of stuff a lot okay there's a few different locations here and there in Orange County uh, one in LA I believe so, you know, long story short, good stuff, well made, clean place, reasonable prices, a unique flavors that even with the Filipino style stuff, you're not going to get anywhere else because it's such a good balance. Most Filipino ensaimada don't, doesn't use aged white cheddar. So, Pateria, you know, easy, easy rating, easy rating. That's really good stuff here. Super good, super unique. That verdict, that's hot food. Great stuff, guys. Cheers.